today we will be learning about another important factor that influences weather and climate in the last video we learned about temperature as one of the most important components of factors that influence weather and climate right so let's have a look at this particular snapshot again in the last video we did look at this snapshot where we focused on temperature but today we will be looking at another important factor and that is cloud cover so on this particular snapshot you see that we have clouds given on this snapshot or on this weather forecast so what does it tell us it tells us that on this particular day we will have a cloud cover in the sky or we can simply say that it is going to be a cloudy day right so on some days you must have seen white clouds on the sky while on some days you must have also seen dark huge black clouds yes there are different types of clouds that occurs and we will be learning about each of them in details clouds act as a blanket for the earth's surface and helps to regulate the temperature of the earth so during daytime when there is cloud cover it reflects back a portion of the solar radiation and prevents the earth from becoming too hot similarly during night time the cloud cover helps in reflecting back the solar radiation that is released from the earth's surface and prevents it from becoming too cold and keeps the nights warmer However in desert places when there is no cloud cover the solar radiation is completely absorbed by the earth's surface making the area very very hot and in the night time similarly in the absence of clouds since there is no cloud cover to reflect back the radiation of the earth's surface it becomes very very cold as all the radiation escapes into the space So coming to the first type of clouds So have you ever seen these huge dark black clouds in the sky? What do you think? Do they present a fine weather? No. We usually understand that these type of clouds on the sky brings rain or any other form of precipitation, right? But do you know what do we call them? So these dark clouds are known as nimbus clouds. So let's understand what exactly are nimbus clouds. They are dark clouds as I just mentioned and they bring precipitation in the form of rain and hail. They also cause weather phenomena like storm and tornadoes. So these dark clouds that are very huge they are compact and they are very very dense clouds these usually bring precipitation in the form of rain and hail and besides that they also cause weather phenomena like storm and tornadoes now other than that these clouds usually extend to a height of 2 kilometers from the earth's surface so we can say that these nimbus clouds are low altitude clouds wow so here we see some white detached hair like clouds are they somewhat similar to nimbus clouds no in no way we see such clouds in the sky quite often and what do they represent well such clouds represent a pleasant weather that is different from that of nimbus clouds because they usually bring weather phenomena like storm and tornadoes but what exactly do we call such white clouds they are known as cirrus clouds so to define cirrus clouds we could say that they are short detached and hair like clouds that usually form at high altitudes So unlike nimbus clouds these cirrus clouds are high altitude clouds right other than that as i just mentioned that these clouds indicate a pleasant weather 
So if you see such clouds in the sky, you know that it is going to be a fine weather and you can definitely plan a picnic. However, now that I mentioned that these are high altitude clouds, which means that they extend to a height of 5 to 13 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Another very important adjective that could be added to this particular cloud is that they are like magical wisp. As you can see here, they look like magical wisp in the sky. So before moving on, could you help me answer this question? Which type of clouds look like magical wisp? Are these the cirrus clouds or the nimbus clouds or the cumulus clouds or the stratus clouds? Yes, we just learned that cirrus clouds are one that looks like magical wisp. Now let's learn about another type of clouds. So these are somewhat similar to the nimbus clouds as they are huge and compacted. They are not detached like the cirrus clouds, but they are huge and compacted like the nimbus clouds. However, they are different from the nimbus clouds because they are not dark grayish in color and they do not bring any rainfall, right? Such clouds are known as cumulus clouds. So these cumulus clouds are low altitude, fluffy heaps of clouds and they almost appear like cotton ball, right? So you see they appear like a cotton ball and they also seem like a cauliflower. So these cumulus clouds have cotton-like appearance and they are low altitude clouds. Other than that, they denote a fair weather and they often appear on bright sunny days. These clouds extend to a height of 2 kilometers from the Earth's surface just like the nimbus clouds. So now let's learn about another important type of clouds. So you see that they are spread out all across the sky. Have you ever seen the sky like this? Well, if you see the sky like this, you will know that this is stratus clouds. They are somewhat similar to both cumulus clouds as they are white and cirrus clouds as they are partially detached from each other. So these stratus clouds are low altitude clouds and they have a horizontal layering right and they extend to a height of two kilometers from the earth's surface besides that they may or may not bring rainfall so we know that nimbus clouds are clouds that bring rainfall and weather phenomena like storm and tornadoes but stratus clouds may or may not bring rainfall but if these stratus clouds are thick then they might bring light rainfall or drizzle. So, drizzle may also come down in the form of tiny crystals, snow crystals, and this usually happens in places where temperatures are too low. So, this was about the stratus clouds. So, today in this video, we learned about the importance of cloud cover, how it influences weather of a place or rather temperature of a particular area. We also learned that clouds can be of different types. We learned about the nimbus clouds that are dark and they usually bring rainfall, right? And weather phenomena like storm and tornadoes. Then we learnt about the cirrus clouds. So the cirrus clouds are short and detached. And they have a hair-like structure, right? They often present or they often denote a pleasant weather. Then we learnt about clouds that almost appear like a cotton ball or a cauliflower. And these are known as cumulus clouds. We finally learnt about the stratus clouds. 
So these have a horizontal layering and they may or may not bring rainfall. So this was all about clouds. In the next video, we will be learning about precipitation and humidity and how these two factors affect or influence weather. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.